I'll say it again to you. How is he able to heal the sick? How is he able to... What does Jesus say? How does Jesus say he's able to do these things? Through God. Oh, I don't know. Through God, yes. Through himself or through God? Through God. Right, so I agree. So there's no difference. No, because it's, it's Sorry, just even though you're being filled. No, 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 no. Jesus does what he does. You okay, I'll be on film. I don't mind. Like, yeah. Going on YouTube. YouTube. It'll go on YouTube. I'll give you the channel, don't worry. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. So basically, Jesus ch channels God's power. Moses channels God's power. Muhammad, peace and blessing upon him, channels God's power. Yeah, there's no differentiation. Because miracles of God are miracles of God. Yeah? Who raised the dead? God raised the dead. Who cured the leper? God cured the leper. Who parted through the power of God? Jesus says, by myself I can do nothing. So give me one example of Jesus' divinity. How is Jesus risen after his death? God raised him, according to what God says. Because he is God. No, no, no. Who raised Jesus? Who raised Jesus? Did Jesus raise himself? Jesus did. Jesus didn't raise himself. So even if Jesus... And that's why you want to talk about the Trinity. So that's why he doesn't want to answer your question. No, 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 no. He just instantly got on the First thing, my young lady here said, why is it a problem with the Trinity? So I explained why the problem was. Then, the, and then, then I was asked why I believe what I believe. And I'm, I'm also asking what you believe what you believe. She said she became a Christian when she was age 11. I'm asking for the reasons. She, she said the Bible... Yeah. She said the Bible was the reasons. So then I questioned her with regards to this matter. And that, and that's where we were, and then, and then you deflected to John 1 1, which I'm happy to do, I don't mind. Because let's look at John 1 1. Can God exist outside of a Trinity? Right, so he can't. So when you say God. Is there relevance of this as to whether. I'll explain to you. Okay, can God exist other than a Trinity according to your understanding? He has always been. It can only, only be Trinity. Can they be separated? What do you mean, can they be separated? Can the Trinity be separated? What do you mean? Can, can you call God God without, if it's not a Trinity? I don't really know what you mean. Okay, understand. when you say God, okay. When you say God... God the Father, God as Jesus, I mean, God... I know what you believe, but I'm saying to you... I don't know what you mean, can I be... I don't know what you mean, can Okay. Can we talk about something other than the Trinity? No. Because I don't even say the relevance and... Shall I, shall I explain the relevance again to you? Yeah. Okay. If the Trinity is false, yeah, then what you're doing is paganism, and according to God, if you ascribe partners with God... It's not false Christianity. No, 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 no. No, but that's, that's not if you want to, no, 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 but this is, look, look, look. The main focus There's two things going on here. I'll explain what it is. God You're saying it doesn't matter. Trinity, Trinity doesn't matter. And it's an example. All right. You say tr we're saying our lives Trinity our is Trinity is what you're what you want to talk No, she says why does Trinity matter? Yeah, and that's we've explained that to you, but now what she's saying is No but no no but when I'm saying to her No no but you look look she's asking why does Trinity matter, yes? And I'm answering her why Trinity matters, because if it's wrong, then you're saying it's not wrong. So, so what do I do now? Do I challenge your concept of Trinity is not wrong? Or do I still address her? No, because she has said that's okay, can we talk about something other I think you're Oh let's talk about sin. Answer. Would you like to talk about sin? No, we'd like to talk about sin. I think, think she's, yeah, I think she's satisfied really and your answer. And it's not do you accept? Do you accept? All right. Do you accept? Do you accept? The crux of Christianity is Jesus on the cross. No, the crux of Christianity is Jesus is part of a trinity. Because if there's no trinity, Jesus isn't God. That's yeah, but if Jesus didn't die on the cross, then we are... And why do you have such a problem believing in the trinity? How is it so hard? No, no, no. I'll tell you why I have a problem with the, the problem of the Trinity, yeah, because it's it's idolatry. That's why. I believe God is one. God in three different aspects. Right. Like spirits? Are you all just physical? You have listen, a mind, you have a soul, you have listen, a Listen, be careful now. What you're doing now, you're slipping into heresy here. Yeah? You can't say God is both is mind, body and soul. Because the Trinity is co equal yet distinct. Now, my mind, body and soul are all together, they're not distinct. Why don't they talk about sin and now you're still on the Trinity? If you want to talk about sin, we'll talk about sin. Spirit is the Spirit of God. Tell me about the Holy Spirit. When show me anywhere, anywhere in the New Testament. The Holy is what God show me is anywhere. Where the Holy Spirit well, is. No, 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 no. Show me anywhere in the New Testament where the Holy Spirit is recognized as God. Yes. Anywhere. The face of Pentecost. 
Where does it say he was God? Where? Yeah, the Holy Spirit is God. Because Where? Pentecost. It doesn't. The Spirit can come upon the Spirit everybody. The Spirit can come upon you. Listen, God's Spirit can come upon you. Yeah, that's one thing. It's no issue with that. Yeah? To claim the Spirit is actually a third co equal God. The Spirit of God. No, no. Very no, quickly. You can you blaspheme against God? You can only blaspheme against God, can't you? You can't blaspheme against an angel or prophets. Do you, would you believe that? Say it again. Do you believe you can? You no, no. I, I believe you can. If you can blaspheme against. If you say a man who's, who claims to be a prophet and he's not a prophet and he is a prophet, that's blasphemy. So you bla Get up. Okay, but I think from a Christian perspective, we would only say you can only blaspheme God, really, unless. unless um, and it mentions, so it mentions no, 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 no. Look, here's what you got to understand: the Holy Spirit did not become God for, for 380 years. Yeah, there was no eye concept. It was a gift. No, no, no. Listen, let, let, let's not deal with hocus. Listen, let, let's not deal with hocus. Hamza, you have to deal with some of the earliest. Let, listen, listen. Let's not, let's not deal with. The earliest. The earliest. No, 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 no. no, no. Let's deal with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Let's deal with the Holy Spirit. Let's stick to the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That I was sent the Spirit of the Truth. Alhamdulillah. That does not mean it's God. Okay. Let's let's understand something. Yeah. Nowhere does the New Testament say. The Holy Spirit is co-equal Trinity with the Father and the Son. Nowhere. Okay, so let's establish that first. Second way. I hope you. No, no. We're filming this. It's going to go on our YouTube channel, EF Tower, yeah? Feel free to comment. Feel free to take my email. It isn't an issue. Yeah, go for it. See, if you want to establish truth, we establish truth. Yeah, this is what it's all about. Now, you're carrying concepts which are not substantiated by your book. That's the problem you have. Every chemist that I carry is qualified by my book. So you believe the Trinity is, is Father, Son and Mary? Or do you believe that's uh, one of three? Is he really saying this? Yeah, yeah I'm really saying All this. Right. Just, just one second. I am really saying. Okay, so you think the Quran says that the Mary, Jesus, and uh, there's, two, there's two references, implicit references to the Trinity. Uh, tell me what they are. I can't remember. I can't give you chapter and verse. Oh, you can't. No, I don't, I don't want chapter and verse. I just want okay. the verse. Well, I can't even get the eye. So, so, so what are you going to do? There's three. There's two references that I know. I'll tell you exactly what it says. Where, where Anna, Anna was speaking to Jesus. What does he say? And, and, and he's saying, where, where, where did they say that you're one of three? No, he didn't say that. Or that see, 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 either you, Mary, and the Father are the Trinity? It doesn't say that. Then correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Patrick, Patrick, please don't, 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 don't embarrass yourself. I, I don't mind about embarrassing myself. Don't, very kind of you to say that. I don't worry about embarrassing myself. Give me the reference about what it, what it says in the Quran about what I'm referring to. So, so going back to what we're saying, yeah? If you, do you want to um, understand what you want to do? Sin? You say you want to talk about sin? Do you want to establish the Holy Spirit is God? All right. L let me ask you that question one more time. No, I'm going to ask you the question. I'm going to ask you the question. Do you accept if the Trinity is if the Trin? You know why it's going around in circles? Because she says something and then she says the opposite. But I didn't say the opposite. I'll tell you why I did. I'll tell you why I did. All right. What I said was, I think she had asked him. No. And I think you were having no, no. What no, no. No, she said, she said, she said, she said. I think your words were the crux of Christianity. No. Tied up and small. Okay, but this is not small. This is the greatest commandment. It's not small. It's the greatest commandment. The Trinity. The first commandment and the greatest commandment, according to Jesus. Hero Israel, Hero Israel, the Lord thy God is one. United one. Does it united one? Doesn't say united. Alright, right. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's what we're doing here. Does it say love your neighbor as you love And that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing here. Yeah, of course it does. Have you read the Quran? What's all this ISIS stuff then? What's all this Ku Klux Klan? Huh? What's about the Westboro Baptist Church? No, well you're quoting you're quoting extreme versions of Islam, I'll quote extreme versions of Christianity. See? What's extreme Christianity then? Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux Klan. Ku Klux Klan. Do you agree with the Ku Klux Klan? Well, she brought up ISIS, so I'll bring up Ku Klux Klan. Okay. I'll bring up uh, IRA. I'll bring up uh, Timothy McVeigh, oh, on, the Oklahoma bomber. You can't bring that. Why? What's what they did? They never used. They never used. Feel of justification. To justify what they're doing. They never used scripture to say this is why we. I accept that. I accept that. I accept that. They didn't. Bad example. Okay. No, no. I will rescind that. I'll bring up the Crusaders. Did they use scripture? Yes. Carried the cross in front of them. Butchered everyone. But scripture didn't say. Didn't. What did I just say? You Christians don't follow scripture. That's the whole point. 
What you believe as Christians is not supported by your book. That's the problem. But you have to be perfect. No, no one's saying it's perfect. No one's saying nobody's perfect. But if you want to bring up ISIS and all that, I'll bring up the Crusaders. I'll bring up Timothy McVeigh, the Oklahoma bomber. Anyway, Holy Spirit. I think, I think your question was why were you uh, a Muslim? And I think you probably answered that more than I. No, but I want to know why you're a Christian. Why am I a Am I not allowed to ask that question? No, no, then I start challenging it, and then you jumped in, then you jumped in, then you jumped in. Yes. No, she keeps saying, oh, Trinity doesn't matter, Trinity doesn't matter. But it clearly does, according to you. It does to you, yeah, it clearly matters. To you it does? It does matter, it doesn't exactly matter to me, because that's not the basis of my faith. What's the basis of your faith? Let's deal with that. The basis of my faith is that I believe that God above is an all-good, all-knowing God who loves people, sent his son because we are not perfect because we are sinful is that what the bible says we can't get to heaven by ourselves is that what the bible says so the only way the only sacrifice that's not what the bible says that we could that he could should it to all right get us to heaven one second to sacrifice himself which shows let me, let, that we should live our let me paraphrase what you just said you just said well, you the asked, only way he asked her a question and yeah. you're not letting her answer no what that's the question. Question. She's she's no, she's answered it. She's answered it. What? I asked her what's the crux. She said to me, the only way we can get rid of sin... Before, before you even let her, she didn't even get to finish. She, I heard what you said. You said, the only way to get rid of sin is to believe God sent his son to die for our sins because we can't get our sins rid of our sins any other way. Is that correct or not? We are not God. We are low. We are human. Right. We can we get rid of our sins without a blood sacrifice or not? No. No? no, no. no? That's why Jesus... Did right. So no? 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 Can we get rid of our sins without a blood sacrifice? All right. Well, wait, no, wait, before you go, before you go, you can't just make a statement like that and run. I know Patrick's trying to save you, but you can't do that. Okay. The young ladies here believe the only way they can remove their sin is through blood sacrifice. So we're going to show them wrong from their Bible. Well, I'm going to show you how you're wrong. You can keep with the rhetoric, but let me show you how you're wrong from your book. Is that okay? I'll read from your book. Are you ready? Now, you believe we inherit the sin of Adam also. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, okay. So we inherit the sin of Adam. So we're responsible for his sin. Yes. Yeah. And the only way we can get rid of this sin is what? Blood sacrifice. Yeah? Yes. All right. Alhamdulillah. No idea. Okay. Are you ready? This is in Ezekiel 18.30. Ezekiel 18.30. I want you to go read and reflect. Sorry? Okay. This is God speaking. Is Jesus God? If you're under the law, or if you're under Jesus. This is what God says. Now you can reflect on what God says, or you can ignore what God says. All right. Let me read it, and then this is your scripture. So have some respect for your scripture. Go on. There's different dispensations in the Bible. There's a dispensation of Adam. There's is this sin sacrifice? What's the question? Patrick, you, you've got the trinity of the Quran wrong, so no disrespect, you're no help to these girls. Who's actually engaged with my question, so I don't want to tell you about that. Anyway, what's the question? I don't know what to say. Talk to me when you say on the Okay. Okay, but hold on. Whatever you take it from the Old Testament, you need to think about because the New Testament is grace because they brought Jesus in the New Testament. Okay. Okay. So what you're saying is, in the Old Testament, they didn't need a blood sacrifice. Is that what you're saying? No, they did. They did. Hold on. They had. They had to fight. Okay. All right, okay. All right, two things here. You've got two problems here. I'll explain. Yeah? Okay. Animal sacrifice is unintentional sin, according to the Old Testament. Yeah? Animal sacrifice did not cover intentional sin. It only covered unintentional sin. So the, the sin you didn't realize you'd done. Yeah? This is what animal sacrifice... No, listen, listen. My, my sister, just listen. Sister, just listen. No, no, no. Do you want me, I, I can go to that verse as well if you like. Well, listen, we've got to establish something here. If you believe blood sacrifice is necessary for forgiveness of sins, yeah? That's what you're saying, according to the Old Testament as well, yeah? And you, then you're saying that the animal sacrifice... No, no. But the animal sacrifice, you're saying, is what they used before Jesus, yes? Yeah. 
Okay, now here's a few problems you're going to have and I'll explain them to you very, very quickly. First thing, animal sacrifice according to the Old Testament did not forgive... One second, one second, one second, listen, just listen. Listen, listen, okay, okay, okay. We're talking about the Old Testament here, aren't we? So we're talking... No, I'll tell you why it does have relevance. Let me no, no. Let, 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 let me explain to you, yeah, why it does matter to you today as well. What I'm saying now, yeah. Just understand this, please. All right. I'm quoting from your scripture, so just have some respect for your scripture as well. All right. So first of all, I want to establish. Yeah. Don't you believe in the Old Testament as well? Not this, no. Really? But you do. Like no. No, we don't. <laughs> you do though, no, we can talk about that in a minute if you like. Look, look, look. We can talk about that in a minute if you like. If you want to learn something today and go away and reflect about something, and and maybe even consider, am I wrong? Yeah, because if you had to learn the truth, but you need to consider that. Well, if you give me something to reflect, no problem, alhamdulillah. But let's just deal with this initially, because you've got a, your first misconception is this. Yeah, blood sacrifice of animals was not for all sin. First thing, it was only for. Listen, just listen. Just, just listen. Just listen. Just listen. Just, just listen. We've got two of these, one of these. Just listen. Before Jesus, before Jesus. I'm talking before Jesus now. Before Jesus. No, I'll come to Jesus. I'll, no, 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 no. Okay. Well, if you let me speak, I, I'd spell it out, innit? Please. But the problem is, you realize. Do you know why? Because you're not stopped talking. Because you've not stopped talking. You, you're talking a lot, making your points. No, because no, no, it. But, we just we really can't can't say it. See, if you don't talk, I can speak, isn't it? Hurry up. All right. So your first misconception is the idea that blood sacrifice is for all sin. It's not. That's the first misconception. Well, you, you need said to check. That about five times. All right. So you need to check that out. That's the first thing. Second thing. Which verse is it? I'll read it. I'm going to read it for you. I'll read it. Verse 1830. <laughs> what is this of? This is Ezekiel 1830. Therefore. I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, says the Lord God. Repent and turn from your transgressions and sin will not be your downfall. Right? So God says, according to Ezekiel, to get rid of sin, you repent. Right? That's the first thing. So your Bible is against this idea that you need a blood sacrifice. That's the first point. That's the first point. Second problem you have now. You believe Jesus then became the final sacrifice of no more animals, yeah? Is that correct? He was the final sacrifice. Uh, right. If this is the case, why are animal sacrifices going to recommence when the temple's rebuilt? Because that's a Jewish thing. No, no, no. It is. Where did you get that from? Your Bible. Do you believe the temple's going to be rebuilt? It will be. Definitely. Right. Now, according to the Bible, when God describes this temple and how it's going to be rebuilt and the size of its pillars and the breadth of its halls and all of this description, yeah? This is, is Are you listening? Are you listening? Listen, listen. Is this God speaking? You're not listening either. You're not listening to What are you talking about? And because Can you're I saying ask? that's us, it's not well, us. Well, it will be. You know why? Because the problem you've got, I'll explain the problem you have. Because when the temple's rebuilt after Jesus, yeah, God says animal sacrifice will recommence. Why? Because it's not us. Who's, who's you? Who did Jesus die for? Read, read Who did Jesus die for? Hold on, hold on. Read Revelation. Okay? Who did Jesus die for? Read a commentary and read Revelation and you will see... I, you want me to ignore the prophets? The temple. No, I'm telling you, in addition to this, read Revelation. Listen, the temple. why are animal sacrifices going to recommence? Hold on. Okay, so... Can you can I ask you yes. why? why are you so... Passionate. So, so against Christianity, has something happened in your life? No, nothing at all. That you are like so close? Not at all. I, I, I look at you guys as I look at Hindus, as I look at any one of false beliefs. Can you imagine if you put the passion that you have towards trying to misinterpret the Bible into... What are you talking about? I haven't misinterpreted anything. I've quoted it verbatim. Trying to fight against, fight against Christianity. I'm not trying to fight against, you know, Islam. I would just, I'm just saying that I'm a Christian and I believe in that. And so? So if you're a Hindu in India, you believe in Hinduism and Ganesh and believe in that. So that doesn't mean it's true, does it? But I'm just... I'm, I'm, your geographical location where you're born I, and the family you're brought up in doesn't determine truth. I just find that you're very, very, you know, passionately against Christianity. Uh, of course I am. There's, of course I am. Why it's paganism. Am? Why are you so passionately against Christianity? Why? Because I care for you. What does he say? Love my neighbour. I care for you. So, right. So show me my errors and I'll show you your errors and we'll see who has I'm the errors. Right, right, right. So I say to you again, look. You know when you, you think something's right in your head, but it's not, and you can't see it for the wooden tree. Yes, that's you. No, that's you. <laughs> no, no. Okay, all I've done 
You, I've asked you about your beliefs. The Bible's against your beliefs. It's not. You believe, you believe a blood sacrifice gets rid of sin. The Bible disagrees. You believe that, yes, yes, yes. The Bible disagrees with you. Really? So what does Ezekiel mean when he says, repent and your sins are forgiven? I've explained to you. Well, explain that. I've explained it. No, you haven't. Explain that. Bible. Explain that. So, if you take if you take the Bible as a whole and you read, so you can read from like the Old Testament and that was when you were under the law. But we no, can you explain that verse where God says, yeah, if you repent, your sins will be forgiven? I'm, I'm going to explain it to you. Repent and your sins are forgiven. No blood sacrifice. That's the whole message. Your sins are forgiven because God died on the cross. No, 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 this is Ezekiel talking. There is no Jesus here. That's what, this is what I'm saying. If we just look at the Bible for our time, if we're looking at it as a whole. No, no, you're just looking at the Bible now and forgetting the old time. That's the difference. I'm not. No, no, we can look at the Old, the old Testament helps us understand. You're ignoring the Old Testament. We are, we certainly are not. We okay, not so God in the Old Testament, what does he say about the wicked man who turns from his wickedness? What will happen? Will his sins be remembered? I don't know what verse. All right, right, right. No, here's a, okay, Ezekiel. Okay, Do, did you know that God says that if you repent, he'll forgive your sins? Yes, that's all. Without a blood sacrifice? Not without a blood sacrifice. So where's the blood sacrifice mentioned there? What? Where's the blood sacrifice mentioned there? It's just one verse out of the whole Bible. All right, show me a verse where God says you require a blood sacrifice to forgive your sins. But it's not, it's not one verse. How, if I, show me anywhere. I do not know my Bible. All right, this is the problem. You, like, you don't know your Bible. I do know my Bible. You should have stopped there. You don't know your Bible. I've read my Bible many times. You know Christianity, but you don't know your Bible. Now, I know your Bible. I do know my Bible. You don't. Okay, show me anywhere in the Bible, going back to what we said before then, the Holy Spirit is God. I can't tell you right now. You can't tell me. Again, stop going there in. Can't tell me, because it doesn't say it. Just because somebody doesn't know their Bible off the verse. It doesn't say God. It doesn't say God. I didn't mention Muhammad. I didn't mention Muhammad. I didn't mention Muhammad. I didn't mention Muhammad, did I? Did I mention Muhammad? Okay, who's, who's, Alhamdulillah. Who's the, so where is the Holy Spirit classed as God? As a co-equal Trinity? It's going back to the Trinity. It's going back to the Trinity. Yeah, why? Because if you listen to me, can Christianity exist without a Trinity? I think. Can Christianity exist without a Trinity? I think what you need you to say. Do. Done. Thank you. Are you done? I'm done. Yes. Fantastic. Actually, all uh, can Christianity exist without Trinity? What you need to do is reread your Bible, right? With Me. A basis of belief. Can Christianity exist without Trinity? Instead no. Of it's, a, it's a rhetorical question. It can't. It can't. Why are you so afraid to defend your faith? I am. It Christianity does not exist without the Trinity. You don't care about the Trinity. Yeah, Jesus can't be God if there's no Trinity. So Trinity is very, very important. So anytime we try to give you an answer or ask a question, no, the lady here about ten times has said Trinity doesn't matter. If there's no Trinity, Jesus isn't God. Simple. And if Jesus isn't God, you've got a problem now because God, Jesus is not God's son, part of a Trinity. Because she doesn't care about Trinity. Why she was a Christian and now to sound like I'm saying? Do you believe Jesus is the son of God? So she doesn't care whether Jesus is the Son of God. She doesn't. She, doesn't. Never she, never she, she did. She did. What did you say about the Trinity? It doesn't matter. It is not important in the whole. Moment. What is important? You're picking holes and tiny ways. Do you accept if there's no Trinity? Do you accept if there's no Trinity? The, if there is no. No, but if there is no Trinity, if there is no Trinity, you said Trinity doesn't matter. I said it does matter. It's not so let's establish it then. It does matter. So let's, let's establish it then. What she was meaning was that the crux of Christianity, huh? the message of Christianity, and, and, and What's the message of Christianity? Jesus died on the cross. Right. Why, why is it so important Jesus died for your sins? Because we can't <laughs> we can't get rid of our sins without Right. God doesn't say what you just said. There's no other way. Well, God doesn't say that. Yeah. But the Bible, the message. The Bible doesn't say what you just said. It does. Yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't. Show me where Jesus said that. The, the whole message. No, no, just show me. No, you keep saying the whole message, the whole message. God doesn't say it. Oh, sorry, forgive me. Anytime you try to speak, you just keep saying, show me, show me, show me. And we're trying to speak, and you just keep talking, and you don't let us speak. Oh, show me then. So the whole message of the Bible is that Jesus came 
Where does God say that and where does Jesus say that? But this is what I'm saying, I'm giving you an overview. No, no, I'm not giving the overview, I'm mentioning Jesus saying it or God. Because you're going against what God teaches and Jesus teaches. But we, we do have to go because we do it. I don't blame you. No, but we have a train to get. No, no, I handle that. We have to, but I think the initial question was answered a long time ago and it's just a twisted ground. Yeah. But, um, no, no, no. You need to watch this video and realize who was talking the most. No, no, you did. Why? Because when I asked the question here, and she said Trinity doesn't matter, and then I said, it, and then I said, no, no, no. No, I understand. But when I said to her, right. That's what she no, right, 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 right. And when I try to challenge that idea, it does matter. I said, if the Trinity is not true, and then you went, well, the Trinity is true. <laughs> so all of a sudden now, all of a sudden now, we, I have to now prove the Trinity is not true, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But, but we're never going to your brain because you're Muslim and I'm a Christian. No, 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 no. I start from like that. What are you talking about? What, you can't learn nothing new? You know everything? Well, absolutely not. Right, do you, think, do you not think there could be something in your social condition and you haven't learned yet? Yeah, definitely not. I think you're twisting what we're saying. You need to watch your time. Islam Net is establishing the first of its kind mega mosque, think about that, and Dawa Center in Norway. If you donate to support this cause on behalf of your parents, Allah will inshallah build a home for them in Jannah. Because the Prophet Muhammad said, whoever builds a mosque for Allah, Allah will build a house for him in Jannah. So you can inshallah help your parents earn the eternal home in paradise right now by clicking the link below.